Hello, reformers, and welcome to a special feature of Legla, which I do believe means the Eagle. And we are now going to be starting a new game of this highly requested mod. And I do believe it is set in the Napoleonic era. So we are going to obviously have access to muskets and hopefully pistols as well. I have not started it up before, so we'll see if that is indeed the case. And as you see here, the year is 1809. And the Corsican-born Napoleon Bonaparte sits on the throne of the French Empire. Napoleon's reign as ruler of France has been a period of almost perpetual war with some nation or another. And indeed, France now finds itself engulfed by bitter fighting in the Iberian Peninsula. Recognizing an opportunity to reclaim land and the status it lost in previous wars, Austria, though it has sent no official declaration of war, launched armies at France's allies in Bavaria, Italy, and Poland. With Napoleon in Paris, command of the French forces in Bavaria has fallen on the shoulders of Marshal Berthier. Napoleon's chief of staff. Meanwhile, an alliance of Spain, Portugal, and Britain tries desperately to check France's advance into Portugal and southern Spain. Okay, well, I would assume that we are going to be male for this, considering it is a special feature. And, ooh. While you were a child, your father was a nobleman, a storekeeper, a soldier, or a hunter. I can assume that if we select storekeeper, we'll probably get some sort of trade skill right there, but I think we'll go for soldier in this case. And now, oh, you spent your early life as a student of priests, an engineer's assistant, a shop assistant, a street urchin, or a hunter's assistant. Hmm. I'm actually thinking of street urchin right here, because that's probably going to give us something good. But then I think to myself, a hunter's assistant's probably going to give us better musket and maybe better pistol proficiency as well. So let's go with that. And then, as a young adult, life changed as it always does. You became a military student. That sounds good. And we will, of course, go for personal revenge. And we will ride to victory. And our name, as is customary with most of these special features, is going to be Reformist for this. And who knows, maybe if a full series comes along, you never know when we will rename ourselves, of course. We'll probably rename ourselves in all likelihood anyway, so... Yes, that is fine, and oh, I'm actually taking a look at our stats here. Some pretty terrible choices I made by the looks of things. Not great. As you see, the only great thing that I suppose we have is two in Power Strike and three in Leadership, and maybe two in Riding as well. But Trainer? That's not really going to help us that much at all. And I suppose I'll just spend all four attribute points in Intelligence. Now, what do we want to have here? Well... Hmm. Ah, horse musketry. I do believe we want that. So let's get two points in that. And I'm actually thinking, should I go for all points in intelligence? Maybe I should just go for eight. No, wait a minute. Let's go for seven points in intelligence and two more points in agility so that we can get yet another point in horse musketry. Because if we have two in riding skill, then I'm pretty sure we're going to be starting with a horse. So, yeah, that would probably be a good idea, and I think some pathfinding is also going to be a very good idea, just to make sure that we don't die immediately, of course. And let's get some more points in Iron Flesh as well. I don't want to die in one hit, and seeing as we have access to muskets and pistols, there is going to be a great chance of us getting eliminated almost immediately. So let's spend our points in pistols. We'll try to make our proficiency quite good there, and... As is also customary with these special features, I do believe we will be going with the default face. But I will change the beard a little bit. I would like to get something rather dapper for this. Let's take a look here. What are we going to go for? Not a full beard this time. We're going to go for something a little bit more shapely. What? Oh my goodness, what about this? Ah, ooh, that actually might be an idea. Let's go for that. Why not? Let's do that. Now, we want to make him a little bit older, just so that he has a little bit of experience. And make his hair a little bit darker as well. And that will be fine. Now, whether seeking adventure or driven from your home by war, you find yourself traveling Europe. Whatever your reasons, you find yourself weary from the road and decided to stop and look for a tavern in Paris, London, Frankfurt, Vienna, Berlin, or St. Petersburg. Whoa, okay. Well... 
considering <laughs> considering I'm in London right now, as a matter of fact, we're going to be selecting that. Why not? Your coach entered London across the dirt-covered Kensington High Street. The sides of the road were lined mostly with gardens and country houses, until you hit the busy market section of Pall Mall. From Pall Mall, you travelled through Charing Cross, into the White Hall. The east side of White Hall was lined with governmental buildings, but the west side was mostly shops and run-down housing. You felt a little uneasy as you passed the notoriously crime-ridden Scotland Yard, known by all as a meeting place of thieves. And, oh my goodness, wait a minute, what's going over here? As you stumble sleepily towards the stairs to the bedroom floor, you pass by the bar and bump into a man. He's drunk and well-dressed, and was about to put back another drink before you spilled it all over him. Oh dear. He's not going to be very pleased about that. You spilled my drink, you rat! What do you have to say for yourself? I'd say I spared you further embarrassment, you tosspot. You blackguard! You rat! You dog! You'll pay for this! You will. And I'll guarantee that, if I can read properly. I'll have satisfaction by God I will! Find yourself a second, and meet me outside town tomorrow morning. My second will retrieve you shortly after dawn. Remember, He'll be under orders to pop you if he sees the authorities. A man in a black coat, who'd been standing in the shadows watching the events unfold, stepped towards you and offered his services as your second. You had little choice but to accept. He introduced himself as Fielding, and said he could provide the necessary weapons. You went down to your room, or should we say you went to your room, this time without ruining any drinks, and attempted to sleep. Nervousness about the morning, however, kept you awake for most of the night. Shortly after dawn, Fielding and the other man's second arrived and took you to the meeting place. Your opponent has left it up to you. What will it be? Oh dear. Okay, I'm better with a pistol. So let's do that. Very well, pistols are dears. Stand your ground and hold your fire until I give the command. If no one is hit, we'll reload and try again. Remember to keep it. Oh goodness me, it's starting already. Oh dear. We missed. Okay, wait, 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 wait. We've got to wait for the fire command. We have to wait for the fire command. Go! Oh! <laughs> there we go. We took him out with a nice 68 damage right there. And yeah, unfortunately I did seem to break the rules a little bit to begin with because I was a little bit nervous about it and I thought, oh, we might as well shoot immediately because I thought that he was ready because he seemed to be pointing his gun at us. But yes, oh my goodness. I suppose that's the last frivolous duel he'll be fighting, the fool. I must congratulate you on your victory. Perhaps you should go get some rest now. You've earned it. Victorious in your duel, you return to the inn and attempt to get some rest, putting the whole unfortunate matter behind you. When you awake a few hours later, the duel seemed a distant memory, and you had nearly pushed it from your mind when a knock came suddenly on your door. Greetings! I trust you've rested well. I slept fine. That's good to hear. You'll need your strength in a place like this. Anyway, I didn't come here to make small talk. No, I am here to come clean with you. I wasn't merely a tavern drunk that nobly offered his services. Truthfully, I am a customs inspector, and I have been following the man you dueled for weeks. He is involved with a group of violent smugglers we've been trying to track down for months. I have been intending to arrest him, but you and you bumped into him, I figured his death in a duel would accomplish the same thing, only without all the paperwork. What's your meaning telling me all this? Well, you've proved yourself a useful sort, and we need all the good men we can get. Now, it's dangerous work, but it puts a little coin in your pocket. Ah, uh, danger, money, presumably women. Where do I sign up? Aha! Now that's what I like to hear. Anyway, our main impediment to eradicating these smugglers is our present difficulty in uncovering the location of their hiding place. None of my runners have succeeded in tracking them, and none we've captured have talked. There may be some luck in store for us yet, though. We've recently noticed a new greenhorn running with the group. If we're fortunate, he'll still be soft, and we'll be able to work the location out of him. 
He and a few of the other smugglers are presently working as duffers on the roads outside town, imposing false contraband upon gullible bumpkins at inflatable prices. If you can capture him and dispatch his accomplices, we may be able to extract from him the information we require. Gather some local men if you have to, and look for them on the roads around town. I will do my best, Fielding. Thank you very much. Ah, why send me? Aren't you and your men better suited to this? They've as many spies as we do, and they know us as well as we know them. They won't recognize you, though. You'll be able to get by their lookouts without them bolting. Good luck, and try not to get killed. I will try my best. Thank you very much. Ah, it appears we already have those fellows in sight, so we are going to be taking them on in just a second, I do believe. Okay, so with the duffers in sight, I do believe we are going to be heading into... Ah, enlist some volunteers. I see. Okay, so what are we going to get here? Well, I suppose light infantry is probably going to be the way to go. One man volunteers to follow you. Should I recruit him as... Light cavalry? Is that going to actually be really good? Should we do that? Let's do that. Why not? Light cavalry? How can we be bad with that? I mean, seriously, he's got a horse... Do we have a horse? Yes, we do. Of course we do. Wonderful. Okay, so we have a horse, and he appears to have one as well. He does have a saber, by the looks of things, or a scimitar. And we have a fancy dagger. Oh, dear. That's probably not going to work out too well, but let's just see if I can head over to High Wycombe, and we'll see whether I'll be able to recruit a couple more units. Now, as we can see here, welcome to Laidler to join a faction. Seek out recruiters in capital cities, or if a faction does not possess its capital, military depots. Military depots also house regimental liaisons who perform a number of important tasks. Additionally, military items can be purchased from the depot menu. Items can now be looted in battles by holding them after the last enemies are dispatched. Wait till you are told the items have been added to your inventory. Ah, well, I think I'll have to experience that before I fully understand it, but that seems to be a rather cool feature, I have to admit. So, let's head over to High Wycombe right here, and we'll recruit some... Oh my, three men. Okay, we'll get some more light cavalry, I suppose. I'm just hopeful that these guys don't have spears, I guess, otherwise we're going to be in a great deal of trouble, but I'm pretty sure they'll have pistols or maybe even muskets. Who knows? If they do, then that's going to be... Rather unfortunate, to say the least. Now, before we want to head in here, of course, the thing we want to do is just zoom out for a second, and we want to see what is actually going on here. We have Edinburgh, Sheffield, Cardiff. We also have Dublin there. And, wow. Heading over to Europe, we have even more. I can imagine that the mod creators are going to be filling out Spain and Portugal down here, and they're also going to be, I would assume, filling out more over in this direction as well. Oh my goodness. Okay, I, yeah, my geography knowledge is limited, so I have no idea, but so far it is looking pretty amazing. I gotta say, oh, here's Holland, of course, and we have France, and we have Germany here as well, I do believe, and Italy? Hmm, yes. Okay, well, enough with my geographical lesson right there. We're just going to head right in and see what we can do against the Duffers. Now, these guys are probably going to be able to take us out in one hit. Because, of course, they probably do have pistols, like we have a pistol right here. Now, we do need to be careful about our cavalry just running in and dying immediately. So, I'm unsure whether we should let them, well, move anywhere. I'm thinking yeah okay let's tell them to hold position back here because these guys are no doubt going to be able to ambush us rather effectively through the trees and I'd like to be able to fight on a flat battlefield and not in the tree area otherwise they're going to have difficulties getting blocked all over the place it's probably not gonna be a great idea now aha I see some of them in the distance as you can see over there and I'm hopeful that I'll be able to do some damage Nope. Okay. Pistol. Short-ranged weapon. Mental note taken. Good stuff. 
Good stuff. Okay. <laughs> Let's be careful about that, shall we? Okay, now we do need to make sure that we are going at full speed so as not to get absolutely massacred by them. Do 28 damage right there, or should we say 38? And then do 22 damage with our dagger. Yes. Take him down, take him down. Come on. Whoa, okay, our light cavalry are actually quite overpowered versus these fellows. <laughs> well, that's always good. Not bad at all, if I do say so myself. Now, uh, let us leave. And we will see what we can do. Don't kill me, sir. I swear I ain't so bad. I just fell in with a bad lot. I'll do whatever you want. I'll spare your life, but in exchange I want information. You had better start by telling me where your smuggler pals are hiding out. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'll tell you where we hide out. I'll even show you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> There's the return of that accent. Okay, so... Let's take a look. Let's wear a sailor's shirt, because it's a little bit better than what we had previously. And do we have any better trousers? No. Okay, we look actually pretty dapper right now. It's pretty cool. Get two francs, and we get a little bit of loot as well. So I suppose what we can do now is head back to Fielding and talk to him. Now, we do have some pirates that we've just encountered, but I have light cavalry. So I'm hoping that my overconfidence is not our undoing, because you know me. You do know me. I am somewhat prone to getting overconfident in these areas. I do like to... Well, yeah. I do like to think that we are quite powerful when in fact we are not. So let's just see here. Do these guys... No, they don't have horses. So I think we have a good chance. If they don't take us out immediately. So I think we're just going to have to charge our units in right here. And we'll see what we can do. Okay, there's 38 damage. Nice, nice. Now we need to be careful. No. Yeah, take him out. Look at that damage. Okay, no, no, no. Careful. We need to split the enemy's forces off from each other. Now these guys are fighting with fists. So I guess this makes it quite easy. Although these other fellows do have muskets. So we do need to be a bit careful because they have some bayonets on them. So we need to be careful of that. I just had to think of that word as well. It's been a while since I've mention that at all. Now, do bear in mind that I cannot block with my dagger at the moment, so I need to be a little bit more careful with how I am moving. And I do believe we are going to be gaining a rather significant amount of renown as well for this battle, so that's always good. And, of course, experience too. And Reformist has advanced to level 2, which is excellent. So, there it is. 13 renown. We were unable to take any prisoners, but I don't believe we have any of those anyway, so... Don't really need to worry too much. And we have an India Pattern Service Musket, which is excellent because we also have some musket cartridges too. And there's a sturdy British Sailor's Spencer, as well as some <laughs> amazing trousers as well. Okay, that's great. We can actually take all of these and we can sell them. Let's take a look at... Ah! Oh my goodness, I like the hats already. I know this isn't Team Fortress 2, but still, I like the hats. So, there we go. 43 francs as well for that. That is great. There's some other pirates as well, which I think we probably could take on, but I'm unsure whether we should at the moment, considering we do have these guys to level up. And I think we're going to be getting two of each, just to see what they are. So this is cavalry, and that is cavalry. I suppose the dragoons have rifles and the hussars do not. Is that correct? Maybe. Let's take a look here. Yes, they are better in pistols and musketry, the British hussars, but... They are also better in riding. Ah, yeah, they're not so good at musketry, but they do have a pistol, so I suppose they use a pistol, perhaps? And the Light Dragoons, I suppose they have musketry much more. Do they? No, they have zero. Oh my goodness, okay, I have no idea what's going on, but we'll see, I suppose, when we get into battle next time. And let's take a look at this as well. We do need to... Hmm, what do we need to do? Let's spec in intelligence, just get a little bit more there. I do want to get hopefully 9 in intelligence next level, so that we can level up our pathfinding a little bit more. Let's get some more power strike. And I think we're also probably going to be getting... Oh, I am unsure here. Should I get some more riding skill? Probably not. Let's get some more weapon master instead, just to make sure that we level up our pistols as fast as possible. And I've just realized that it's actually playing some copyrighted music right now, which is actually quite a shame. Otherwise, 
I would really love to show it because, yeah, that just means I'll have to mute this part, which is really unfortunate, but I suppose you aren't hearing any battle sounds at the moment, so that's okay. So we can head back in to the tavern. I think I might actually save right now, just in case something happens. It is alpha after all, do bear that in mind. This is a very early release, and I'm going to be heading back to the tavern and speaking to Fielding. Okay, so we are in the tavern with Fielding, and we are about to speak to him about our success at tracking down the smuggler's den. And he says, My spies have reported on your success. Excellent work. I'd say you've earned a few coins. Now that we know where those bastards are hiding, I'll gather my officers and run us together for an attack. Let me know when you're ready to join us. And don't bother me until then. Hurry, though. They'll surely notice some of their men are missing before long. Okay, well, we are at full HP. I don't believe we need to worry about our rejuvenation at all, so let us, without further ado, go and join the assault on the smuggler's den. This is actually a very nice, unique take on things. Oh, dear. Oh, my. Do you see those guys up there? I do. Oh, no. Where are you going, Fielding? Don't run straight on into them. That's going to be a bad idea, I do believe. Well... Whatever the case, I suppose what we will attempt to do is use our pistol to good effect here. Now, the only unfortunate thing I'm worrying about at the moment is should I have equipped one of those muskets? If I'd equipped the musket, would I have been able to be a little bit more accurate in this case? Maybe. And that's the thing I'm worrying about at the moment, because if this guy is able to reload faster than me, which is unlikely, but if he was... Oh, really? Oh, no. No. Okay, he missed. Okay, he missed. There we are. Take him down. 41 damage. Very nice indeed. But yes, if that guy had hit me, or at least if I had actually hit him beforehand, then it would have been much better. But yes, thankfully enough, we were able to survive. Now, what we want to do is try to get a nice vantage point on these guys right here. Oh, yes. Nice 39 damage right there. I believe I'm learning how to use the pistol a little bit more effectively. Although, missing is never a good idea. Okay, come on. Let's do this. Oh my goodness. Where are my troops? Where are the customs officers? I need them to detect some illegal goods over here. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, there we are. Another 38 damage. Can I hide behind this tree? Or is it... Oh no, no. It is solid. It is solid. Oh yeah, take out that highwayman. Very, very nice indeed. That guy's reloading his musket. Hopefully I'll be able to take him out before he is able to. Nope. Okay. Yeah, just miss. That's what you get. Oh no. Careful. Oh no. Oh no. I am actually really scared that he's going to clip my elbow or something. Oh no. This is where firearms really come into effect here and I'm terrible with them. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. He missed. Yes. Let's get a little bit closer. Oh no. Okay. Wait a minute. If I can hide behind this tree right here, I think we'll have a good idea. Ooh. Oh yeah, nice 40 damage. Very nice indeed. Now, thankfully enough, I am far enough away so that they don't switch to melee. And I'm able to take that guy out. Excellent. Using tactics for once. Who would have thought it? Who would have seen reformist using tactics? Oh, no. Okay, wait a minute. Could I actually use my dagger against this guy? I'm just really afraid of it because I don't have any blocking capabilities with it. And if I get overwhelmed, then I would very easily die. Really? At this much range, oh my goodness, I think if anyone's seen Hot Shots Part 2, then you know what I'm talking about when this accuracy, there we are, 41, <laughs> when this accuracy is present as it so is right now. Okay, let's pick up some more pistol cartridges. We do need to reload after all, and I do believe our customs officers are still firing away at our opponents. I can only imagine how this would be if you had, well, let's just say 50. Should we say? Yeah, 50 musketeers on each side. That would be amazing. That would be really cool to see which side would actually win in that situation. But yeah, maybe we'll be able to do that. That would actually be really cool, I think. Ah, uh, yes. 
I really need to improve my proficiency. And you know the way to improve your proficiency? Yeah, who would have thought it? It's actually hitting things with it. Ah, okay. Well, we have a nice chair here with some uh, bottles of wine. Wow, that's pretty cool. Okay, I think I'm going to have to jump down here. Hopefully I won't get propelled off like a rocket ship. Who knows? That might happen. Now, I'm just making sure that nothing else is going on here. And I'm going to try and sneak up behind these guys. Sneak up while I've been shooting at them? Yep. Going to try it. <laughs> okay, now who can I kill? Let's take out this guy. There we are. I'm still surprised that our customs officers haven't been able to deal some damage to these guys just yet. I'm going to tell them to hold position, but I think I'm probably going to be okay here. Yeah, now don't shoot me by mistake, please, fellows. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of bullets going off over here. And there we have it. Oh my goodness, that was quite the situation there. They were quite difficult to take out. After the last of the smugglers has been cleared out... Looting of the smuggled goods began en masse. Eventually all were ordered to stop, and some men were sent back to town for wagons. You and those that hadn't been ordered to remain as guards returned to town. And let's go into the tavern, I suppose. And we will speak to Fielding once again. Ha-ha! What a fight that was! We really showed those bastards, didn't we? I told you they wouldn't go unhanged, didn't I? Anyway, they commanded a considerable bounty, which I'll gladly share with you. With this business finally concluded, I suppose I'll move on to other work. Consider your debt to me repaid. Perhaps we'll meet again in the future. Until then, I bid thee farewell. You're an odd man, though perhaps not an... <laughs> okay, yeah, that's fine. Perhaps not an unamusing one, and... ooh. I see. We have some musical instruments right here. I think I'm actually going to go out into the town center because I haven't shown you the scenes out there, which is going to be quite cool. Oh my. Yep. Yep. Okay. Very cool. I gotta say, on first impression, very, very nice indeed. And they've actually got some guards around here as well in proper dress too. Look at that guy over there. Oh my goodness. Okay, well... I suppose the only thing I can say right now is that I'm going to be ending this episode off here in the grand splendor of London. And next time on the Legler special feature, we are going to be partaking in a couple of larger field battles. And we're also going to be doing some siege mechanics and taking a look at the better units down the line. So, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.